Hey, what's up everybody? One of my coworkers approached me the other day and said, I get all these trailers in my bay to work on, like semi-truck trailers or, um, you know, whatever, any kind of trailer, who cares? But they got all these different plugs on them for connecting to the vehicle for power for and signal for uh, lights and brakes and stuff like that. And I want a cart that has different kinds of plugs and then has controls that I can test all the different functions of the cart to make sure everything's working and that way I don't have to back in a vehicle that has that kind of plug on it and so there's four kinds that I want to test and it's a seven pin round connector a seven pin blade connector and then there's a six pin connector and then there's the four pin flat style connector so let's look at those uh, props to Michigan Truck Spring. These guys have a page that has all the pinouts for all these different kinds of plugs. So there's the four way flat. Then we have the six way. An interesting feature of these plugs is that the ones with more pins um, are like a proper superset of the connectors with less pins so the functions do the same thing um, just the ones with less pins have less functions but they wouldn't have other functions that the ones with more pins don't do and also I'm told that if you have one of these um, seven pin connectors there's an adapter that you plug in to this female port on the back of the vehicle that just adapts it to one of these six pin ones or to this four way one. So I think we're only gonna have this seven pin spade type. All we're gonna do is build a panel with some rocker switches and connect the wires into there. So let's start by getting some uh, models. Hello, hello, welcome to the lab. The project has changed a little bit. We're no longer going to build a cart. We are instead going to build a portable box. And so we have a schematic. And in the box is not only going to test the trailer as we anticipated, but is also going to test the truck by drawing a several amp load using a 5 ohm resistor. And so in the lab we have the box. Here is the box. The box is going to have a trailer port on the side, a trailer port on the other side as well. And one of the sides will be for the truck, the other side will be for the trailer. So how will you plug the truck in to a female port? Well, you'll use this jumper cable here. It'll go from the truck to the box. Another option that you will have is from a 12 volt battery which you can bring with you wherever you're doing your testing 
to the box. And this cable is going to have alligator clips on it. And there are the alligator clips. So you can see they're big battery clamps. They got the uh, removable insulation. Comes with a bolt. So you crimp that around the cables. We're going to have to use a 6 gauge or an 8 gauge connector to get all those uh, wires together. But anyways, that's this is the goal is to get them onto here so you can put that on a battery and then plug that into the box and that'll give you uh, power on all six circuits and then ground obviously we got one of these junction boxes oh, look here to see here's the junction box so you'll have from the port coming into the truck will go to this junction box this will be on the bottom of the uh, the tote here this will go up to structural fins we're going to clip these this box is going to go right inside there like that it's going to be fastened and then on this surface you're going to have six switches six LEDs and they're all going to be labeled and it's going to be left turn right turn brake 12 volt auxiliary so on. These switches are going to power the tr respective trailer circuit. Then this project box is going to have, it's going to be mounted, this one's actually going to be right there and it's going to have this is going to be inside. This is the uh, 50 watt 5 ohm resistor. <clears throat> this was revision one of the box and you can see this is like a uh, file tote box. It's got the rails for um, you know those hooks that you put your file folders in to put them in the tote. Okay and then it's got this pencil compartment up here or paper clip or whatever. So this seemed like it was going to be really good. Got all the switches in room for LEDs this switch here this is a single pull seven throw switch and so it's perfect for power in off position and then six outputs uh, we've got some zip tie holders here I even got one of these trailer ports installed but I realized that this box is just too flimsy it's not going to stand up When you go to plug the, the trailer port in, this thing is going to rip apart. So, yeah, no. Yeah, this is just way too destructible. So, this is the switch. This switch will go in the top of the box. The resistor will be inside. Oh, look, it's still in the frame. Yep, so this switch has to come out. These are going to come out. Bag of 12 volt LEDs. Uh, you know, surface mount, screw them in. So, that's the business. That's the business. Now what? The place to start is... place to start is putting the wires in the 7 pin connector and then putting that in the side of the box. So that's already here. I'll just take it out of this one. So, alright, time to, time to get to work.
Alrighty, here it is. It's done. Connect truck or battery there. Screws. Screws. One there. Connect trailer. Alrighty. Let's see. There it is. Got the cable stored inside and any adapters you need to go to other trailer plug standards can go in there as well. I have made an info card that explains if you want to get into this junction box. Okay, here's the info sheet for the user that will eventually be laminated. This will go in the box. It has notes for use, things to be aware of. Don't use this heavy current draw resistor for an extended period of time for one thing. It gets very hot. Here are some reference wiring pinouts for the different uh, trailer plug standards. Look. These are all on spades, so if you have a different, there's a couple of different wiring standards. If you want to switch these around, you can switch them around. Let's test it. So we will plug it in. Okay. Here's the uh, jumper. Not using that one. We're going to get these clips. Okay, all set, good, okay, on, nothing's on fire, let's see, do the lights light up, yes, okay, good, can you see in there, all right, doesn't that look nice? Why don't I use, here we go, this is what we want, instead of that, we will use an alligator clip to go to ground, okay, now we'll use this one. Test voltage, DC voltage. Okay, now so we use this to test. Okay, so got this here. I'm gonna turn on running and tail lights, which should be uh, the top left. Okay, so I'll turn that one on and see where do I get 12 volts? Oh yeah, that's the right one. Okay, turn that off. Let's try auxiliary power and that should be the top right. Yep, 12 volts. Okay, so it works. Here's the uh, bit of wire running from one box to the next. That was part of the design. I didn't want these immediately next to each other. I wanted there to be a little bit of loom just to show some skill. I think it looks cool actually that way. So these are uh, zip tied to, uh, well, I guess one of them is missing a zip tie right now, but it's easy to add. Got zip tie holders glued to the bottom of the box. There we have it. We'll put that lid back on and off to the races.
All right, thank you for watching.